astrologer Wonder Girl taking you to new heights. Here's your weekly forecast for the week of Monday, August 7th to Monday, August 14th. Now, before I get started, I just wanted to say that this horoscope is going to be slightly different than some of my other weekly horoscopes. The reason why that is is because I went ahead and gave you this week's horoscope last week. Okay, the reason why I did that was because there really wasn't too much going on last week that I thought was significant or interesting or inspiring that was like super new, so I didn't really want to talk so much about that. Also because we had a lunar eclipse coming up this Monday, that's a huge alignment, only happens twice a year, brings major changes in our life that we were building up to. So I wanted to talk about that. I wanted you to see the future, where your life was going to help you make some sense of some of the things that was happening last week. And also because I'm just excited. I'm just excited about the lunar eclipse and the solar eclipse that's coming up and I wanted to talk about that. Okay, so that's why I did that. If you want some details about what's going on this week, go ahead and check out last week's horoscope. That may give you some insight, okay? But this week, what I'm going to do, instead of rehashing stuff I already talked about, is I'm going to give you the bigger picture of what's going on. I'm going to talk about last week. I'm going to talk about this next week. And hopefully, something will hit you a little bit differently than it did last week that will help you see things in a different way, okay? So that's what is going on here, Scorpio. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at your chart. All right, what happened last week, because I'm going to start there first, Scorpio, is we had Pluto, which is your ruler, in a square with Jupiter. Okay, and Pluto for you is in your third house of communication and of talk and of people around town. All right, we've got Jupiter here in your house, your 12th house of like your insides and your internal stuff. So I think there's been lots of changes going on in your community and your immediate environment and the people that you maybe interact with regularly and how you communicate even with these people that you do interact with regularly that's going on. And I think you're trying to figure out how to make all these changes that are going on in your immediate environment, in the way that you communicate with people and even in the way that you think about your life, how you can take all of that and just become more comfortable with it and get more peace from it and not be so shaken by all of this stuff that's going on okay I think that was going on for you last week while that was happening we also had Uranus here going retrograde and that for you was in your sixth house of your job and of your daily routines all right, so I think what's happening there is perhaps there's been a lot of things going on at work, at your daily routines, on the day-to-day -day, that you've been wanting to do things differently or do things in new ways or bring more excitement into them. I feel like it's been kind of hard maybe for you to do that, having some unexpected things come up that have been taking you off course. And I feel like last week you were finally starting to be like, you know what? I can't take all these distractions coming up on my day-to-day -day routines and on my job. I need to get ahead of this kind of thing. I need to start turning some of it on so that I can move forward to have the daily routines that I want, to have the job that I want, and to stop feeling like there's so many crazy things taking me off track, okay? I think that was something that you were thinking. And then we also had last week Venus move into Cancer, which was in your ninth house of something new. Go on as well, where you were starting to just think more about um, some new different adventurous thing you were doing, traveling, studying, just something you haven't done before. I think there was a lot of attention coming to that, wanting to do something like that in some way, um, and to do more of that, that you were also thinking about and how to become more comfortable and build more civility and security in your life with this new thing that you're doing. All right. So that was what was going on last week. This week, we come into the week on Monday with the lunar eclipse happening. That for you is going to be right here. And your fourth house where the moon is <clears throat> opposing the sun and your 10th house of career. So I think what's going on here is something about your home life that's been happening, something about the foundations of your life, your stability. Maybe there's been some focus there on that lately that you've been focusing on. And I think you need to stop focusing on your home life, stop focusing on the stability in life and that kind of thing and really begin to throw yourself into your career and what's going on there doesn't mean that you stop thinking about home, just that you try to take care of it and get all of that stuff under control the best that you can so that you can start to move up in the world and increase your social standing and move forward, okay? I think that's a big focus for you, new career, new chapters coming in your career. Once you realize that and accept it, I think it's going to open some more doors for you to be more at peace with yourself, and with who you are on the inside, with what you want, and to just be more, find more comfort in life. I also think it's going to help you to make more commitments here to cultivate new gifts and talents in some way, to earn more money, bring more income to you, and to just be more confident, okay? So I think you need to stop focusing on home so that you can really throw yourself into career and attract a lot of these new things to you okay once you do that I think you're also going to be able to communicate more about things that are really close to your heart okay and that for you is going to be about your goals where you see your life going and how you can do new things 
in your future to reach your goals okay maybe you have new goals see your life going in new and different directions and I think once you do all this you're gonna start to communicate more about where you see your life going and what it is that you really want and the person that it is that you want to become okay so that's gonna happen there you may need to think about things differently when it comes to how you communicate with people around town or just people in general about your career and about where you see your career doing. There may be some readjustment required for you to do there. And then you're also going to be rethinking a little bit here because Mercury is going to go retrograde um, your future and where you see your life going and how your career can help you get there. So there's a lot of stuff going on there that you're trying to figure out just about your future and what's happening in life and how you can just do it in a better way that kind of works better for you. Okay. I think that's what's going to happen now your card for the week is temperance reversed this to me does indicate a little bit of an imbalance in some way maybe feeling a little bit out of whack like things aren't quite right here um, or maybe you're doing things externally that don't resonate with you internally and I think you need to figure out how to bring the balance back how to bring more of your heart into your life into what you do on the day to day how to have more of your day to day resonate more truly with you so that you don't go crazy and that you don't feel torn in a hundred different directions okay so that's what I see for you this week. Thank you so much for watching my horoscope. If you like it, please like it on Facebook. Please like it on YouTube. Subscribe to my channel. Share it with your friends. And I will talk to you later.